Seasteading. What did the first seastead achieve? The dawn of the age of seasteading began on February 2nd, 2019, when ocean builders achieved an engineering feat and an environmental feat. First, they proved a single-family seastead can float stably in international waters for less than the cost of the average American home. Next, they achieved a biodiversity breakthrough. Seasteaders have often claimed that seasteads will be better than sustainable. They will be environmentally restorative societies. This rich new ecosystem was growing on the seastead after less than two months. Now the world knows we will increase the amount of life on the ocean with every seastead we build. They can destroy the first seastead, but they can't destroy the knowledge that was gained. They can threaten my friends Chad and Nadia, but they can't threaten the millions of builders they inspired. The design specifications for affordable, environmentally regenerative seasteads are available online. Anybody is free to use this technology to create seasteads of any size on more than two-thirds of the world's surface. In 1903, two people at Kitty Hawk flew the first airplane. 66 years later, men walked on the moon. With the first affordable single-family seastead, ocean builders achieved our Kitty Hawk moment for seasteaders everywhere. If you'd like to help create better examples for civil society on the blue frontier, go to ocean.builders. And if you'd like to learn more about our immediate future, read Seasteading, How Floating Nations Will Restore the Environment, Enrich the Poor, Cure the Sick, and Liberate Humanity from Politicians.